Hello, my name is Audrey. And I'm Claire. And in this video, we'll be covering Jack Daniels vs. VIP Products, a trademark dispute over a humorous dog toy. VIP Products is a pet product company. And through its product line, Silly Squeakers, it's designed toys that parody popular beverage brands. In 2014, the company set its sights on the whiskey manufacturer, Jack Daniels, with its chewable toy, Bad Spaniels. You can see the original on the left and the parody to its right. To note a couple tweaks, you can see that Jack Daniels' description, Old Number no. 7 Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey, is replaced by VIP's The Old Number no. 2 on Your Tennessee Carpet. The company's also added a spaniel over the white filigree. While the product might have gotten a few people laughing, Jack Daniels wasn't pleased. It sued for the product to be removed from the market for violating the Lamb Hen Act a 1946 statute that is the centerpiece of trademark law. To protect trademarks, the law bans trademark infringement and trademark dilution. So what do those terms mean? Trademark infringement involves creating a mark that's likely to confuse, deceive, or cause customers to mistake it for one that already exists. Like this logo of the pop-up restaurant McDowell's alongside McDonald's, for instance. Trademark dilution, meanwhile, is any action that degrades a famous trademark's reputation, whether that's ruining customers' perception of its quality or even physically blurring the trademark, among others. Jack Daniels argued that bad spaniels both infringed upon and diluted its trademark. In response, VIP products cited the Rogers test, which allows certain artistic works to bypass the trademark infringement challenge in protection of their First Amendment interests. Meanwhile, the company claimed that it was protected by the Fair Use Clause, which safeguards parodies, criticisms, and comments on another company's trademark. On June 8, 2023, the Supreme Court unanimously rejected these arguments. The Rogers test, it noted, has been historically applied to trademarks used solely for expressive purposes and not as source identifiers. In other words, trademarks fulfilling the more traditional purpose of identifying the source or the company behind their products. In her opinion, Justice Elena Kagan cited a Janis Joplin song lyric to illustrate this point. In the lyric, the singer asks for a Mercedes Benz, but it's clear that the purpose is expressive and artistic, not to credit the car manufacturer as the producer of the song. The Bad Spaniels trademark might express a humorous message, but it's clearly also intended to indicate its source. Thus, it doesn't qualify under the Rogers test, and whether it infringes upon Jack Daniel's trademark still has to be properly considered. The Supreme Court, however, left that decision to the lower courts. The court also reaffirmed that the fair use exception is restricted to non-commercial products. While the decision marks a win for Jack Daniels, the court's ruling is a narrow one, meaning that it's geared toward this particular context. As Justice Kagan wrote, Dog toys and whiskey are two items seldom appearing in the same sentence. How this decision will play out for other products remains in the air. We hope you enjoyed this video of Jack Daniels vs. VIP products. Have a nice day and thanks for watching!